Sam. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Miss R. Hello, Miss R. Miss R. Zoe was telling me a story. Can we start a class after she finishes her story? Of course. Go ahead, Zoe. Thank you, Miss R. So the five friends decided that they would have a race to decide who would get the biggest house. And guess what? The lion came one. The tortoise came two. The giraffe came three. The rabbit came four. And the monkey came five. <laughs> that was a good story. Uh, Sam and Zoe, the right way to tell the position would be to say... The lion came first and not one. The tortoise came second and not two. The giraffe came third and not three. The rabbit came fourth, not four. And the monkey came fifth and not five. But Miss R, what difference does it make if we say one or first, five or fifth? Well... The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on are used for counting and so are called counting numbers or cardinal numbers. The numbers 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and so on are used to tell the order number or position and are called ordinal numbers or position numbers or order numbers. I'm still a bit confused between cardinal and ordinal numbers. Let me give you an example. We have these cupcakes. Now let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. So the number five tells us how many cupcakes there are. Now look at this cupcake. It is one cupcake and let's see its position. First, second, third, fourth, fifth position. So this cupcake is the fifth cupcake because it is in the fifth position. Oh, got it. Cardinal numbers are used to count the total number of things and ordinal numbers are used to tell the position of one specific thing. You've got it. Now let's see the first ten ordinal numbers. They are... First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. You can either spell out the ordinal numbers or if you want to write it as a number, then after the number you will add the last two letters of the number. So to write first, you will write one and after that st because st are the last two letters of first when you spell out the word. And similarly, when writing ninth, you write nine followed by th because th are the last two letters of the word ninth when spelt out. Now we have a car race going on. Can you tell me which car is in which position? Sure, of course. In the first position, we have the blue car. In the second position, we have the yellow car. In the third position, we have the green car. In the fourth position, we have the red car. In the fifth position, we have the white car. The pink car is in the sixth position. The purple car is in the seventh position. The orange car is in the 8th position. The yellow car is in the ninth position. And the black car is in the 10th position. Excellent! Now let us see the next 10 ordinal numbers. They are 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th and 20th. Now children, can you give me some examples that show how we can use ordinal numbers? Of course. We can use ordinal numbers to tell the rank or position in a race or any other competition. For example, I will say 
the lion came first in the race and not lion came one in the race. Absolutely right. I think we also use original numbers in dates. For example, my birthday is on 19th July. Very good, Zoe. We can also use original numbers to point out something by telling its position. Like, I am standing third in the line. So that's me. Correct again, Sam. And we also use ordinal numbers to specify a floor in a building. Like, my house is on the ninth floor. That's right, Zoe. Sam, Zoe, you both are awesome. And you have understood ordinal numbers very well. Please like, share and subscribe.